It's down to the wire in next month's presidential election in Brazil. Incumbent Dilma Rousseff is battling her main rival, Marina Silva. For the third, third time, I should say, the candidates appeared in a televised debate. And as CCTV's Paulo Cabral reports from Sao Paulo, they know the slightest misstep could make a huge difference in what's expected to be a very close election. The third televised debate was organized by Brazil's Catholic Church. Clergymen and journalists from religious media asked the questions. And while questioners were different, the main issues were not. As they did in the previous debates, the candidates talked about health, poverty, the economy and political reform. President Dilma Rousseff stayed on message, focusing on her government's accomplishments. The person that will win the election is the person who has changed Brazil, the person who fought hunger and poverty in Brazil, who fought for social justice and defended the country from an international crisis, preventing unemployment and reduction of wages. Her main challenger is socialist candidate Marina Silva. Polls show the two women will likely square off in a second round runoff in a race that's too close to call. Brazilians want change and will soon decide who will win these elections. It's not the old institutions of money, of time on the television, or the conduct of the market makers. What will win in these elections is a new posture. Many television pundits expected moral issues like gay marriage and abortion to dominate the debate, especially one organized by the Catholic Church. But there was a draw to determine which candidate would answer each question. So delicate topics were sidestepped. They want to avoid these points. Why this? Because uh, if you have a very uh, uh, strong position on some of these topics, you are much more likely to lose votes necessarily than to, to win votes. The, 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 the parts of the Brazilian population that are actively in favor of, for example, gay marriage or gay rights in general, or that are in favor of liberalization of abortion, they are a minority today in Brazilian population, as many polls show. The latest polls suggest Rousseff and Silva have an equal chance to win October's elections, and both will be careful not to alienate voters who could put them over the top. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.